I was wrong. I misreported facts. What am I talking about? About a month and a half ago, we did that video on the 4150 Edelbrock carburetor. And I was, I was jazzed about it. I was excited about it. It's like, oh, wow. This is like, this is pretty intense. This is like corporate, like one-upmanship. You know, among my two favorite companies. I love Edelbrock. I love Holly. We'll get to that later. And hey, don't have a dog in this fight because I don't take anything from either of these companies. I buy all my stuff, like cash, just like everybody else. Well, just like all you guys, not like other people who are in this business to get the stuff for free. I pay for it. So I was jazzed about it. I said, wow, this is pretty cool. And I did that video and the title was Edelbrock Nukes Holly. And in the video, I misreported something. And this is like crucial. This is crucial. It's important. I misreported that Holly is getting out of the carburetor business. All right, so I'll set the record straight before you go any further. Holly's not getting out of the carburetor business. I have been reassured of this. Really reassured they're not getting out of the carburetor business. So, no, nobody's suing me. All right, so uh, here's how this came to be. It was about two years ago. It was before all of the shortages and, and, and lockdowns and all that craziness. And I was on the phone with a friend of mine who works at Holly. And we were discussing the, the Hillborn acquisition. They bought Hillborn and they weren't going to do mechanical fuel injection. They were going to go all EFI with it. And then I misunderstood. I misunderstood what he said. This was a long conversation, and, and there were a lot of elements to it, but I misunderstood what he said. I took some of the things he said as uh, meaning that as a corporation, as you know, Holly, we're going to start phasing out carburetors and moving towards all fuel injection. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I misunderstood him. Now, here, this, here is why I took this as, okay, that's the, that's the deal. A couple of weeks prior to that, I have a friend of mine who is very well known in the Holly, Holly rebuild business. He does very high-end restorations on Holly carburetors, on all carburetors, but he specializes on Holly carburetors. And he was telling me then at that point that they were having a hard time, he was having a hard time getting parts from Holly, stuff that had normally been available, you know, regular. Now all of a sudden they weren't getting them. And he was under the impression that Holly was phasing out carburetors. This was the first, this was the first time like this ever came to me or, or occurred to me or anything like that. So a couple of weeks later, when I had this conversation with my friend at Holly, the, my mind was already primed for you guys are phasing out carburetors. And, and the fact that Hillborn was going to be all EFI, no mechanical, this kind of was the icing on the cake. And then there was a third factor in all of this. And again, remember now, we're talking about over two years ago and up till now. There's been a real lack of carburetor, Holly carburetor promotion and uh, advertising, awareness, public awareness of new Holly carburetor products. So over the last couple of years, everything that I've seen concerning Holly and induction systems is centered around their EFI systems. So all of the innovations, all of the uh, influencers, don't ever call me an influencer, I'm not an influencer. All of the, the, the influencers on it all have been promoting the Holly EFI systems. And Holly has been going crazy promoting the EFI systems. And there's been a void, a vacuum of Holly carburetor promotion during this period of time. So for the last two years, I have just gone through life with the understanding that Holly's putting all of their efforts into EFI and they're done with carburetors, right? Not that they're going to stop building carburetors, but that they've reached the end of the line as far as product development and, and promotion goes, and now they're going to focus all of their efforts on EFI. So that's why when the hot, when the Edelbrock thing came up, the 4150, the knockoff 4150 came up, I was like, oh, wow, that's just too cool, right? And so that's why I did that video. So, as I said, I've been in contact with a friend at Holly, and evidently, they're very upset. The people in the carburetor division are extremely upset, and rightfully so, that I put that, I made that video. And they're like, 
he's like, you got to take this video down. I'm like, oh, I can't really take it down. I mean, it's up there. It's up there. We'll come up with something. We'll, I'll do. I'll do some sort of retraction. Well, here it is. I'm doing. I'm doing it right now to set the record straight and say that Holly is not getting out of the carburetor business. Holly is still doing carburetors. I've been assured that there's a whole staff of real Americans in this American company, in, in the American factory, building these American carburetors. And they, they're good, hardworking individuals. And I salute each and every one of them. Thank you. I buy your products. I enjoy your products. I promote your products. There's probably no other person on YouTube that talks as much about your products in, fa in a favorable light. It's just, I love Holly carburetors. I, I love Edelbach carburetors too. I love all carburetors. I find something to love about every carburetor because, you know, that's just how I am. So my friend at Holly, he more or less let me know that these people are very upset with me. They're very upset with me um, that uh, they can't, you know, any mention of, of me among the, and they go, they go nuts. It's like they, they, they make like the stuffed things in my, in my shape, my form, you know, and, and they burn them, right? You can't wear any type of UTG, you know, shirts or anything like that. You get ostracized. It's like, you know, you're done. If they catch you watching, watching one of my videos on there, if they smash the phone, like, I guess it's really bad. It's really bad. And I, I want to stop, I don't want to apologize for anybody in the Holly Carburetor Division that feels that I have done irreparable damage to your, your name, your reputation, your future, your career, your family, your anything, okay, anything. And I'm going to make amends. I'm going to make amends. Well, I, I want to give a gift to you. So I am now eating turkey. I'm, I'm, I'm eating turkey. So you know what, my brothers? I'm going to send you guys a special commemorative Uncle Tony, Holly Carburetor, Turkey. So, this is what you guys got to do. If you work for Holly, if you work for Holly in the carburetor division, and you feel that I have unfairly um, slighted you or your, or your business, I, I just I want you to go to Bill, go to Bill, right, and tell Bill, listen, that asshole, Uncle Tony. I just ruined my life, and I want I want reparations. So, anybody who's been slighted, who, who's who, you know, I want you to go to Bill, give him your name and everything, and Uncle Tony's garage. So here, look, see, we've got we've got our sticker on the other side, UTG and Holly. So UTG is going to send you a moderately moderately sized economy brand frozen turkey to enjoy with your family your beautiful American family on this upcoming holiday and obviously look our, our there's your logo there's the Holly logo and uh, okay we've got to stick it a little bit better and there's the Uncle Tony's garage logo and look at look at this we're symbolically linked okay you see that we're symbolically linked on this delicious moderately sized economy brand frozen turkey and i guess i, I want to send anybody you know who I, I i injured through my words or actions uh, one of these i i i hope that's enough because i am i am truly eternally regretful and remorseful for misreporting the facts so that's it, guys. Holly Edelbrock, both, both of you, both of you, everybody, everybody who makes carburetors, I love you. You have no idea. I really do love you. And I, and I, and I, I'm, I'm joking around now, but I really am sorry. I did, I did misunderstand and I did misreport. I'll see you tomorrow. By the way, I really will send you a turkey. I swear. Tell Bill.